Okay? So, i-discuss natin ngayon yung answer dun sa illustrative problem sa AR management. So, basahin natin yung problem. Mimikyu Mi Corporation has annual credit sales of 4 million pesos. Its average collection period is 40 days and bad debts are 5% of sales. So, the credit and collection manager uh, is considering instituting a stricter collection policy. So, uh, by applying that, bad debts would be reduced to 2% of sales. Tapos, sabi niya, uh, the average collection period or yung number of days or yung age of receivables will be decreased to 30 days. Okay? It would fall to 30 days. However, uh, sales would fall by 500,000 pesos annually. Kasi nga, syempre, naging strict ka sa policy. So, ibig sabihin, bababa din yung, uh, there's a possibility na bumaba yung sales mo. Sabi dito, variable costs are 60% of sales and the cost of carrying receivables is 12%. Assume that the tax rate is 30% and uh, the cost of carrying receivable is 12%. Okay? So, in this problem, uh, we are going to use uh, uh, 360. Okay? So, nakalagay doon that we are going to use 360 days in a year. Okay? So, ipapakita natin ngayon yung computation. So, para dun sa ating computation, ipapakita natin kung ilan yung current policy at saka yung revised policy. Okay? So, so let's start with the AR balance. Uh, sorry, the sales balance. So, annual sales natin. Dun sa current, meron tayong 4 million. Okay? So, 4 million yung ating current sales. Pero sabi, because of the stricter policy, it will decrease to 3.5 million kasi nga bababa siya ng 500,000. So, the revise, it will be 3,500,000. Okay? So, i-divide natin to ng 360 days para malaman natin yung annual, ah sorry, daily credit sales natin. So, divided by 360, divided by 360. Pag dinivide natin ng 360 yan, ang makukuha natin would be 11,111. Tapos dito naman sa isa, is 9,722. So, ibig sabihin, ang daily, okay, ang daily credit sales ng company would be, uh, would change from 11,111 to 9,722. Next, uh, we are going to multiply this by the DSO to compute the AR balance. Okay? So, para malaman natin yung AR balance, i-multiply natin ito dun sa day sales outstanding. Okay? So, dati, uh, 40 days before mo makolect. So, the day sales outstanding here is 40 days. Ngayon, dun sa revised policy, dahil nga magiging strict to tayo, yung 40 days dati, magiging 30 days na lang. Okay? So, from 40 days, magiging 30 days. So, pag multiply natin ito, this would be our AR balance, okay? So, our AR balance would be, for the current policy, that would be 444,440. Okay? So, yan yung AR balance mo. 444,440. And for the revised policy, that would be 291,660. Okay? So, sa revised policy, 291,660. Okay? So, yan yung pag-compute ng ating AR balance. Pero ang tanong sa problem, what would be the incremental profit or loss from the revised policy? So, kanina, doon sa discussion sa, sa ating LMS, nakita natin kung paano ko compute in yung um, incremental profit or loss. So, mag-start tayo, i-consider yung change in the contribution margin, tapos yung iba't ibang items pa doon. Okay? So, kunin natin itong mga amounts na to ha? So, Lalagyan natin dito yung mga uh, changes na mangyayari. Okay. So, first. Okay. So, number one. There is a change in contribution margin. Bakit ka nagkaroon ng change in contribution margin? Kasi nga, bumaba yung ano? Bumaba yung sales mo. Okay. So, meron kang decrease. Decrease in contribution margin. So, magkano yung dating sales mo? Yung dating sales mo is 4 million. Ngayon, naging ilan na lang daw? 3 million, 500,000. So, there's a decrease in your sales amounting to 500,000. Multiplied by the CM ratio of 40%. Bakit 40% yung CM ratio? Kasi nakita natin sa problem na ang variable cost ratio is 60%. So, ang CM niya is 40%. Okay? So, decrease in CM, 
200,000. Okay. Ngayon, yung AR balance natin from 444,440 naging 291,660 na lang siya. Okay, so there's a decrease in the AR balance. The decrease in the AR balance amounts to 152,780. Ngayon, ito kasi balance ng AR yan. Eh, ang di ba sabi natin, ang kukunin lang natin is yung relevant cost or yung cost lang, no, investment. Okay, so yung investment in AR lang. Magkano yun? 60%. Kasi normally, yun yung variable cost ratio. So we are going to multiply this by 60%. Okay, so the change in the change in the investment in air balance is 91,668. So, this is our change in uh, in the investment. Sorry. In the investment in AR balance. Okay? So, ito, change in the AR balance, ito, change in the investment in AR. Kasi yan lang yung na-forgo natin. Tama? Okay? So, we are going to multiply this by 12%. Bakit 12%? Kasi yan yung ating um, carrying cost. Okay? So, magano ang change? Okay? Change in the carrying cost of AR. That would be 91,668 multiplied by 12%. That is roughly 11,000 pesos. Okay? So, is this the increase or decrease? This is decrease. Bakit decrease? Kasi nga bumaba yung AR balance mo. So, nagkaroon ka ng decrease in investment. Okay? So, ilagyan na natin dito. Ano daw yung mga sama natin dito? Number one, kung merong uh, change in discounts. So, meron bang change in discounts taken? Wala naman. So, hindi natin yun yung sama. Next, meron bang change in bad debts? Oh, meron. Meron kang change in bad debts. Kasi dati, nung... 4 million pa ang sales mo, 5% daw ang bad debts. So, yung bad debts mo before is ilan? Ang bad debts mo before ay 200,000. Paano mo nakuha yung 200,000? That is 4 million times 5%. Ngayon daw, yung bad debts mo, 2% na lang daw ng sales. Okay? So, ilan na yung bad debts natin ngayon? 3.5 million multiplied by 2%. So, ilan yon? That would be 70,000 pesos. Okay? So, meron kang decrease in bad debts amounting to 130,000. Okay? So, decrease in CM mo, pero meron ka namang uh, decrease in bad debts. So, that is positive. Okay? Decrease in bad debts amounting to 130,000. Okay? So, may decrease in bad debts ka. Next, meron bang uh, nangyari sa collection cost? Meron ba nangyari? Wala naman. Kasi sabi nga natin, wala naman sinabi sa problem na collection cost. And last but not the least, meron ka bang change in the carrying cost of AR? Is there a change in the carrying cost of AR? The answer is yes. Kasi nga, bumaba ng 11,000. So, pag bumaba ang carrying cost o cost yun, pag bumaba ang cost, beneficial o hindi? Siyempre, beneficial. So, 11,000 dito. Okay? So, magkano ang uh, incremental profit or loss? So, compute natin to incremental loss to, di ba? incremental loss before tax. Okay? So, magkano incremental loss before tax? That would be 200,000 minus 130,000. Okay? 120 plus 130 plus 11. That would be 59,000 na loss. Okay? So, this is your... Uh, that would be your um, incremental loss before tax. Pero dahil yan ay negative figure... Siyempre, alam naman natin na papababain niyan yung tax expense mo. Okay? So, magkakaroon siya ng tax shield. Magkano ang tax shield nito? Itong 59,000, i-multiply mo ng one less tax rate. Okay? So, that would be, so, i-shortcut na natin. We are going to multiply it by 70% to get the incremental loss after tax. Okay? So, magkano ang incremental loss after tax mo? 59,000 negative times 70%. That would be... 41,300. Okay, 41,300 yung incremental loss after tax. So, by implementing yung sinabi natin kayo na ng uh, stricter credit policy, your uh, your profit before tax, will ay, profit after tax will decrease by 41,300. So, should we implement it? Kahit mapapabilis ng collection? The answer is no. Kasi nga, 
yung profit mo bababa. Okay? So that would be the answer in our illustrative problem. Thank you.